it's not a technical thing, it's a human issue. It's about being responsive to your customers and the way they choose to access your website. And a good example of a responsive site is the site you're actually on now. And while I'm talking, if you just drag the browser window narrower and wider, you'll see how the site actually flexes to the uh, area that it's got. Because more and more people are accessing websites by tablet or by phone. And in the future, who knows, by wristwatch, by television, and even through glasses. You don't design for specific devices, you design for flexibility, to support devices that you don't have or devices that don't even exist yet. Search engines, and there are others besides Google, are starting to rank responsive sites above others, including separate mobile websites. If two sites have the same content targeting the same audience, but one is responsive and one isn't, then the one that's responsive will gain better ranking. Depends. Responsive design uses a technique called mobile first. Basically, you think and prioritize your content for a mobile platform, then you create your other variations, desktop, etc. But responsive can be retrofitted into an existing site. It all just depends on how the site has been constructed in the first place. That's right. When you have less space to fit things into, you have to make new decisions about what's important. What a customer should see first, what they might want to know, and what their journey through your site should be. I guess the first option is to do nothing. Your site works, and it's not broken, so why bother? The problem with this approach is that your competitors won't sit still. They'll refine and adapt their sites and eventually make your digital presence obsolete. The million dollar question. Building a responsive site does take longer than building a non-responsive site, and some people have estimated 30-40% more. But in our view, and our experience, it varies a lot depending upon the state of the current site. One thing for sure, doing nothing is more costly when you factor in lost customers, revenue, reputation and competitive advantage. One final thought to leave you with. Mobile and tablet sales have more than doubled over last year. So which devices do you think your customers will be accessing your website with?